If you have been fascinated by AI voice recognition or AI voice creation applications, know this fact that a new report from McAfee says that 77% of the victims have lost money due to some AI voice scams. So in this video, we're going to dig deep into what are these AI voice scams, how do they work and what can you do to mitigate yourself or save yourself from these kind of voice scams. To start with, what are these voice scams in the first place? So these are voice scams where somebody calls you, like you pick up the phone and somebody calls you and says, hey, um, I'm your husband, I need money, I'm struggling, you know, I got struck. Or uh, somebody like friend who calls you and then says, oh no, I'm, um, you know, I need money, can you send it to me? So the, this like somebody who's very familiar to you, somebody whom you know very well. So you hear their voice at the end of a voice call and they would usually ask for money or sometimes it's very short term, sometimes it's a, it's a very long term affair. So this is how the voice cam is happening. And now if you know or if you have been following our channel, you know for sure that AI voice creation or AI voice generation has gotten cheaper. In fact, very recently we covered a tool called Bark AI. Almost everybody, all of our subscribers love the tool because the tool can just take a simple text and it can generate voice. It can generate voice in some pre-built voices or it can also help you clone one of the voices that you know and then it can help you generate it. Eleven Labs, a lot of other tools are available. But one thing that you didn't know is uh, the voice scams happened due to AI voice and that AI voice generation was not as cheap as this before. So what companies, uh, scammers have started doing is they started using these kind of tools to create the clip that they want to use to scam you. So how do they take the clip? They take the clip from one of the clips that you or your beloved one shared online. So the part of the report, it says that there is a survey question that says, do you share your voice online? And out of that, there are a couple of options. Once or twice a week, three to four times a week, five to 10 times a week, more than 11 times a week. And you can see globally, Globally, at least 26% of people have said that they share at least once or twice a week their voice online. It could be on social media. It could be somewhere that you do not know very well. You do not know how they use the voice, but your voice is being shared online on the internet somehow. And if you see certain countries like India, for example, more than 43% of people have said that they share at least their voice once or twice a week. And in fact, 8% of people have said more than 11 times a week that they have shared the voice. Now, if you see this chart and if you see the next chart, which is to say, how have you or someone you know experienced an AI voice scam? And you can correlate that chart with this chart almost equivalent where you can see India has got the highest amount of being scammed. It has happened to me 20% or it has happened to someone I know 27%. So which means of all the people that they survey, surveyed, almost 47% of the respondents from India mentioned that either they or someone they know have been affected by AI voice scam. And the second higher is in the US with 32% of people saying the same thing. And it's mind boggling numbers because I don't, I don't know the sample size of the survey. You can read about the McAfee report, which I link it in the YouTube description. You can read all the details there. But the fact that almost 47% of people who were part of the survey said that either they or somebody they know have been scammed by AI voice scam, it's mind boggling. And it's it's been a big problem. Like I've been, like I live in India. I've been reading a lot of articles where people are being scammed on internet. Like sometimes it's a voice scam, sometimes it's not a voice scam. Simply people generating text from chat GPT and then coming. So as a channel where we cover AI news, as a channel where we cover AI do-it-yourself tutorials, I, fe I felt it's my responsibility also to highlight this issue. I think using AI progressively is going to take us forward, but you definitely cannot stop bad actors from not using AI. That's a fact that we have always known before. For every technology that has come before, people have always found ways to use that technology for something bad. Like you invented car um, and the, somebody used car to kidnap people. Some, then you, need, you just need a faster car to stop them or you need awareness like the surrounding awareness for people to stop getting into cars the same way ai is um, getting cheaper that means a lot of people are going to use ai in fact as part of the report says that ai voice cloning tools can get deliver up to 95 percent accuracy so previously it used to give only um, 
the US accent, but now you know you've got AI voice cloning tools that can give you any accent, a lot of different languages. That means AI voice tools are getting, cloning tools are getting more accurate. It's getting cheap and it needs very less amount of time, like couple of minutes of your voice can be used to clone your voice. So what you can do, I mean, this, this entire picture looks nice and uh, it's very obvious that people are getting scammed and scammers are going to continue this, uh, like more and more scammers are going to do it. So what can you do? Uh, the first thing that you can do is you can be mindful about where do you share your data on internet. A lot of people don't care about where they post anything, where they supply their phone number, where they give their email ID, where they give their voice. A lot of people don't care about any of these things. But as somebody who knows this stuff, like if you have watched this video, something that you can do is limit how much you share online. What kind of media that you share, like either voice or video or what do you share, you can, you can limit that. And second thing is when you get a call, always be suspicious about the call. Like just ask your question yourself. Like if you are, uh, let's say, um, getting a call from your friend, uh, are they going to first call from a different number or are they going to, you know, contact you in a different way? Tell your loved ones what kind of situation it could be like. Would, would you call them when you are in trouble? So keep playing these kind of scenarios. It's very important. And most importantly, Anytime somebody asks for, um, you know, let's say a two-factor authentication password or a one-time password or OTP password or anything related to something that they can use to receive money, you need to be very suspicious about it. And also, it's not always about money. A lot of times, you know, people get, have got scammed because somebody called and said, you know, install this application. And people have gone ahead and then installed the application, which ultimately uh, captured their keystroke, read all their SMS. And that's quite good enough for you for you to get scammed. So anytime you get a call, make sure you have a, that suspicion that this could be uh, an AI voice cloned call. Uh, that's very important for you. Sometimes you can ask questions like, you know, um, the, like where did we meet first? And these kind of questions that only you and that person would know. So it's, it's very important for you to be suspicious about those calls. And finally, not every time you have to pick up the call. It could go to your voicemail. Um, it's something that people can call back again. You can text them and ask them. You can understand these patterns. Like, you know, one thing is to clone the voice, but the other thing is to deliver the way that person would talk. Like I would talk in a certain way that only my family would know. And it's, it's completely possible that I would talk in a certain way to my family and I would talk slightly different, let's say on YouTube or somewhere else. So it's very important for you to have um, pay attention to those nuances or sometimes they redirect those calls to voicemail or any other platform where you you have time to think about it. So it's um, th these are like certain ways like you cannot limit AI cloning applications. Um, these are going to be get these are going to get cheaper. These are going to get more popular. But what you can do is use these options like how much you limit what you share. Um, have that suspicion and also you know redirecting that call to somewhere else i think these things can help you but more importantly share this with somebody else like uh, people need to be aware of these kind of scams happening where people can take your voice clone it call you um, or call your uh, loved ones call your friends and then say that you are in trouble and um, it's it's not ju just about money all the time but you know it can it can lead to bigger implications so the more aware you are about these kind of things that exist the better it is for you and everybody around you so that's the intention of this making this video please let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions otherwise see you in another video happy prompting